ever pondered the question, what would happen if the defense capabilities of India and Pakistan were put to the test? Well, today, we're diving deep into the military prowess of these two South Asian powers, comparing everything from their active armies to their nuclear arsenals. India, with its robust defense budget of $62 billion, has one of the largest armies in the world. It boasts an active military force of over 1,300,000 personnel. Pakistan, on the other hand, has a significantly smaller budget of $10 billion and an active military force of 637,000 personnel. India's air defense system is a force to be reckoned with. It has an impressive array of over 2,000 aircraft, including helicopters and drones. Pakistan's air defense system, while smaller, is still formidable with nearly 900 aircraft. When it comes to nuclear weapons, both countries have a significant stockpile. India has an estimated 150 nuclear warheads, while Pakistan has approximately 165. These numbers serve as a sobering reminder of the devastating potential of these two nations. Moving on to missiles, India has a diverse range of missiles, including the Agni series, Prithvi series, and the Brahmos, totaling to over 2,000. Pakistan, however, has a slightly smaller missile inventory with approximately 1,500 missiles. In terms of naval power, India has a substantial edge with over 200 naval vessels, including 16 submarines. Pakistan's navy, while smaller, is still noteworthy with nearly 100 naval vessels, including 8 submarines. So, what does this comparison tell us? It shows that while India has a larger military and more advanced equipment, Pakistan's defense capabilities are not to be underestimated. Both countries have significant military power, and their respective defense capabilities are a testament to their strategic importance on the global stage. To summarize, India has a larger army, a more diverse range of aircraft and missiles, and a stronger naval presence. However, Pakistan has a larger nuclear arsenal and a smaller but potent military force. In the end, it's not about who has the bigger army or the more advanced weapons. It's about the strategies, the tactics, and the will of the soldiers. And in that regard, both countries are more than capable. Remember, it's not the size of the army in the fight, but the size of the fight in the army. This wraps up our comparison of the defense capabilities of India and Pakistan. It's crucial to remember that these numbers and statistics are constantly evolving as both nations continue to develop and modernize their militaries. The ultimate aim of these defense capabilities is to maintain peace and stability, not just within their borders, but in the entire region. After all, the best use of strength lies in restraint, not aggression.